Yes, sir. Of course, from wherever you are watching from, I want to say thank you very much for watching. Each time you always come through, Luze Andrew Anderson is my name. And you could be wondering this time where we are, yeah? Let's just look a little bit up there, yeah? It is called Harrier House. And of course, this is a fashion house. And I've noticed something that they do so much into Bitenji. Now, I'm going to be taking you through. I've seen all of them. I've seen our Queen Abenaki, of course, is the one of uh, those people who endorse this one here. And I think uh, you've seen some of those photos there. So, this is the clothing line basically and uh, we're going to be talking to a couple of people so if you love Bitenji yeah? if you love Kitenji yeah if you love Kitenji then this is where you're supposed to be coming you could be wondering where we are well to the side is on Tinder yeah Ntinda opposite uh, Stanbeck Bank. And of course, we are going to be talking to one of uh, the ladies who is running this one. Yeah, what's up? Hello, how are you, are you doing today? I'm good. Hi, how are you? I'm doing very fine. So, we were moving and then we noticed that Harrier House is here. So, basically, before you can even talk about the clothing line, first take us through whom are we talking to right now? You're talking to Hario. Mm -hmm. I'm the designer behind the shop. The shop is owned by Dr. Wandira, Theopista. I'm a designer, I don't live here, but I have a hobby of art. So I do all this with a lot of uh, passion. So this is what we're going to be doing, extending here a little bit. Uh, we are going to be moving because of this, that's what I'm trying to prevent. So we are going to be doing this. You're going to take us through, you tell, you tell us about some of the clothes you're having here, because I noticed you're having so much of Bitenji. And why is it that this time round you chose to go for Bitenji? Now you're taking us through. I think um, Africa is blessed with a lot of color, a lot of beauty, but we do not know how to express our beauty in dressing. We prefer to wear clothes from the Western world. So I think interplaying the Western world and the local African fabric is very attractive. So I think we need to pick the culture of wearing our own local fabric. And once in a while, we combine with the Western yeah, we also have beads that are made African. Everything comes is done in Ghana, by the way. Everything we have here is made in Ghana. We look forward to opening other branches here. We will be having tailors here to do everything. But so far, we are trying to understand how the Western uh, people in Ghana and Nigeria manage to embrace the Kitenge. So we're trying to pick ideas to see how they do the finish, to try and make it up to standard. You know, everyone has to be comfortable wearing something that is trendy. For example, a skirt like this, very trendy, you know. It takes a lot of time to do the dresses. So basically, we just want people to embrace the African fabric. So how much can this one go for? The prices are very friendly. You can get, in this shop, you can get something, you know, affordable by everyone. It's African and it's friendly to everyone. So if you're giving someone location to this place, how can you direct them in case they're watching from very far? Hario House is in Tinda, the road that goes to Kiwatule, no, Minister's Village, opposite Stambik Bank, next to National Water, Hario House. So of all the fabrics you've got here, different uh, uh, pieces, which one stands out for you and you're like, wow, if, uh, if I would, I would go with this one here. But this is my favorite that Miss Uganda took today. She was here in the shop. Um, Madame Queen, Queen, Abenacho. Queen Abenacho was here. You can see all the pictures and she was here to pick her clothes. So I like the fabrics that she took. I literally have passion behind every dress here, behind every fabric. It's designed by me. So, so you do the designing and you get the fabrics from Ghana and Nigeria? Ghana mainly. Everything is from made, made in Ghana. That's then, from Ghana, yeah. Uh, then the tailoring, like the sisterizing, who does that one? It's done in Ghana with my tailors. Yeah, because I thought at least they would support, you know, Ugandans in one way or the other, you know, they could be doing some sisterizing. Too, because the launch was today, we're looking at expanding further and, you know, looking at the reaction, we look forward to using our Ugandan uh, available resources. And now I love the, 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 the small one for the kids, yeah. this one here. Yeah. How much would that go for? That one would go for maybe 100, 150,000 Uganda shillings. But it's a dress made for an evening. If you can see the details inside the dress, it's got a net. It's an evening dress for a young child. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, one thing I love 
is that uh, you've got all the sizes. Most of the people are so picky when it comes to their fashion. Uh, they get for the small people. And you know, the, the, the plus size, they're always not catered for. And I love, I love, I love, I love uh, this. How do they call this one here? Yeah. Because me, I know uh, accessories, yeah. Because me, I, I know the jewelry and all the accessories, yeah? Yeah, yeah the accessories. We play around with the fabric. This you can put on a black dress and go out for an evening yeah. and everyone will realize that you've picked a lot of color from the African environment.